Hey guys, today I want to take a couple minutes and make a video showing you how I use these brine shrimp here to feed my jellyfish. There's not a lot of info out there on how to take care of jellyfish and I kind of want to fix that, so let's get into it. So I've got a couple jellyfish tanks, this being the first one, um, my most recent one I should say, being filled with spotted lagoon jellyfish. Uh, they're tons of fun to look at, they're super active. I've had these guys for probably six or seven months now. My second tank is filled with these Atlantic Bay Nettles, which I've had for just over a year now. They're in a little bit of a rough shape, um, so they're going through a little bit of a rehab phase. You can actually see the cone shape that one of them is starting to develop. I'm trying to fix it, but regardless, they do still need to eat every day. I feed all my jellyfish with these grade A brine shrimp eggs, um, which I've had the whole time that I've had jellyfish, and I haven't even gone through half of this bottle, so these things will last you for a very long time. The hatchery that these eggs came with is super easy to use too. I just dump a bunch of these eggs into the outer ring and since brine shrimp are photosynthetic, once you put the cover on, they'll swim into the middle where this little cup is. And it's pretty impressive how many hatch in just a span of a day or two. I like to keep my hatchery just on my desk here underneath this lamp that I also use to take care of my plants. Uh, that way I can kind of ensure that it has light 100% of the time. In order to get these guys out of the hatchery, it's super easy. You just grab the handle of this little cup and let it strain out which is honestly the most annoying part because I'm very impatient and sometimes it takes forever. But here's what it looks like afterwards. It's kind of interesting. You can't see any movement or anything like that. Then I just take the cup over here to my tank and lift up this little homemade acrylic lid that I have and set all the shrimp down loose into the water. And you can see pretty immediately how quickly they're dispersed. Jellyfish are filter feeders, uh, which really just means that they take forever to eat. All of these little specks that you see floating around in the water are the brine shrimp, and they just kind of wait until they swim through it and they get caught in their tentacles. These guys will probably take 20 to 30 minutes to eat pretty much all of the shrimp. The process for my nettles is really no different. Uh, the tank is a little bit bigger, and these guys are less active, so they actually take a lot longer to eat all of the shrimp. Unfortunately, a lot of the shrimp do get sucked into the back chamber and filtered through like the rest of the water. The nettles take around 45 minutes to an hour to actually eat all of theirs. Overall, the process really isn't too labor intensive, uh, but jellyfish do require a lot of attention. But if you're willing to give them what they need and kind of learn their body language to find out what they need, they're really great pets. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.